Good morning. Today is January 24th. We are going to review distal leg, especially nerve. So, 7 o'clock. Wake up, everybody. Okay, pray for me, everybody. Let's say if we can see David's leg. Because of COVID, we don't have. We didn't invite our resident physician because to decrease <laughs> infection. So, can you guys see the leg? I am not so sure. Here, move this. Maybe we go first. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start. So, which one do you wanna start? I think lateral, small stuff in the spine and sural nerves, mm. the hammock nerve. So the Debbie wants to see sural nerve. So let's say, what you, do you guys remember? I think sural nerve is L five S one, right? L five S one. L five S one, and uh, it usually uh superficially running, but start with the, uh, when you guys look for the sura nerve, we usually start to, at the ankle joint. So, if, uh, as you know, parents longus brevis, uh, parents longus, you can see on the top left side, oh, let's just orient ourselves. Left of the screen, the bone shadow, there's the lateral malolus here. You can see lateral malolus, this one. And then, there are two muscles you guys can see. One on the top, below, bigger, right? Bigger one is the parent's brevis. And then on the top is the parent's longus tendon. Brevis is more muscle, you can see the difference. The texture is different, right? So parent's longus start first, then parent's brevis. But parent's longus, by the time you come to about distal one third, it's, it becomes tendinous. So the top of the parent's longus is the tendon part, but lower part of perineus brevis, it starts later, like one third, well, to me almost like one eighth, one seventh already, perineus brevis comes out. So perineus brevis, by the time it goes to the ankle, this muscular part, musculus, how do you say, muscular? Mm -hmm. mm. So that's the old muscles, it's, it's different texture, yeah. or different pattern. So you can see the fascia line between two tendon and um, muscle. And then if I move more arclet tendon area, so whenever you look for the sura nerve, you have to be, you have to put your probe between lateral malonus and then arclet tendon. Arclet tendon is this one. I'm moving to the more medial side. So that's the arclet tendon texture is white. So do you see it on the top? Yeah, that's the arclet tendon. So arclet, between the arclet tendon. So for me to, I'm gonna move a little, move to different uh, pro for you to see everything. Is it a clean one? Yeah, I was just okay. gonna put gel on it this morning. So, let's give a little more gel. So let's orient again. And then less depth. Good luck. <laughs> so if you look at it, left side of the round, that's the lateral malleolus. And then right side above the white part is the arclet tendon. Right? So you can see two structure between the lateral malleolus and arclet tendon. There is two round, dark one, or more one, right? So actually if you look at like this, one is the can you put the color flow? Mm -hmm. uh, go to a little more up. Yeah. That's actually a go. If you put the... Uh, uh, 
over there, around there, right? The small saponous vein is over there. We try to see the color from there. Interestingly, nothing popping up. I know. So when I was doing this with my butterfly last night, no color flow. But I think well, that's what it. Well, what happened? did. I think that's it. The right flow. Yeah, the right in the middle. Yeah. And then next to it, so next to, to the whitish right one here. is the Sura nerve. That's the Sura nerve. Yeah. So let's move to a uh, hockey stick. So you, I wanted to show you like whole environment. And then now we are paying attention, so you, much better here. You mm -hmm. can see. I think that's better. Yeah. So you can see the uh, sumer saphenous vein next to it is a sura nerve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sura nerve. So you look sura nerve here, say we're gonna chase the sura nerve up proximally. And then usually, you know, always uh, next to vessel is the nerve, so we follow. Nice. Still, you see it underneath. Right here. Yeah. Or right that there. one. Yeah, Just that's the sura okay. nerve. Now we are in the. Oh my, it's so clear. Oh, if you look at it on the top left side is the uh, parents' longest tendon, mm -hmm. and parents' ribs. Look at that, how muscle. beautiful that is. Brevis muscle, and then if I move in between Achilles tendon, here Achilles tendon and uh, the lateral malleolus is more narrow. Mm -hmm. So you can see, can you put it, let's try uh, color flow here. See, now you can see very clearly. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, so busy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of color flow. So, this is almost like a sura nerve is underneath of the vessels, right? Now you can see very, very clearly. Can you freeze? Mm -hmm. So can you point it out which one is the uh, sura nerve? So here's a small saphenous vein. Mm -hmm. Sura and nerve. This looks like a sural nerve. I know, underneath, underneath, whole big one. All of them? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's like a honeycomb shape. Okay. Don't you see that? Okay, then uh, now David sounds like, what? Mm -hmm. So we're going to double check. Uh, on freeze. So we still see that one right over there. Yeah, underneath that one. No, no, underneath. Yes. Yeah. Okay. See, it's moving. It's going to come to the superficial adipose tissue area. It's now going into adipose. See? Right here. No. Here. Freeze. I think, uh, I don't know who see it, Cursor. Uh oh, Cursor is it? Mm -hmm. Here, I'm sorry. This is it, this one. Do you see it? So I'm gonna draw, major. This is a, now it's going into adipose tissues. Okay. Well, so here, I came about one six mm -hmm. approximately, right, from the ankle it, here. Then oh, it's going into the adipose tissues. So look at this now. Uh, it, okay, so I'm gonna start from here again, right? Let's start from here again. So from here, Sura nerve over there, right? You now you the round one, white round one. You see, they move. Mm -hmm. no, look at that. Then I I think you have to get rid of uh, cursor so you can see. It. See? Yeah. Now moving into see going up to adipose tissues. Do you see? Yeah. Here. Here. Yeah. Now there we got it. So that means you guys. Get <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more time. So we're gonna do ankle. You are, if you're not so sure, just move around like this. And there's something consistently moving structure, right? Where the cursor is now, right? That area. Can you remove the cursor? Look at this. Now you just look at it, okay? What I'm saying? Now it's going into the 
Oedipus tissue, something is moving, right? Now Devi is going to help us with the cursor. Okay, let's use cursor to follow the nerve. That's the Surana. Very clear here, see? Yeah, I'm toggling. So I'm moving. No, it's starting to go up. It's going up, right? Now it's in the Oedipus tissue, right? And then I'm going to move continuously. So Sura nerve is lateral side. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Sura nerve starts from media and lateral. Sura cutaneous nerve. Yep. And then uh, one is from tibia, which is going to be media. Yep. Lateral sura cutaneous nerve from the lateral side. So they're going to come here in the middle. I don't, you cannot see, but in the middle of the, uh, uh, underneath of the knee, lateral side. And then they're going to meet and run lateral side. But when you guys do EMG, you usually put your, uh, the, uh, the, how do you say, the uh, electrode yeah. probe, you usually put it here, or 14 centimeters from the lateral malleolus to pick up the sutra uh, mm -hmm. action the potential, stimulus. right? So if, let's go that area to look at this. The, the sura, where is the sutra nerve? I see very well now. Excellent. David passed the test. Okay, boom. <laughs> we are going up, 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 up. Mm. Sura nerve is still there. Did you see it? Should we go deep as you go up? Yeah, it's going deep. But now, look at where is the Sura nerve you missed while you're thinking. I see very well. Yeah, that's the Sura nerve, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go up. Continuously, more superficially is going, right? Superficially, superficially. That one. I'm helping um, Princess Debbie. It's moving. So uh, look at this. I'm going almost a little more medially, right? Yeah. That one. So look at this. This is about 14 centimeters. So you guys pick up the. So very superficially, it's placed over there. Look, print. I'm going to put it underneath of the that one. You can see it? Yep. So I want to show you guys where my probe is. Maybe you want to hold it, mm -hmm. so I'm, I can measure. From the, your ankle. Are you kidding me? Is it exactly Really 14 centimeters? <laughs> nice. So wow. That's where we This is amazing. Yeah, that's where you would put your Yeah, you pick up a sura nerve when you do nerve conduction study. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So once again, let's practice. So you, in between the, what? Pr pr lateral malleolus. So there is our... Lateral malleolus. There is our tendon. Mongus tendon. Okay. Perineus brevis. Or and then I'm going to move it to the... Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon. There is a... You can see sort of the fibular striated... No, Achilles tendon. Achilles, not the fibula, Achilles tendon. Right there. That's the fibula. That's the fibula on the left side. Fibrillar, like the echo tech. Fibrillar. <laughs> 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 <Not anymore. laughs> Sorry. Oh, I have you. Uh, this is my English <laughs> class, okay? No, no, no. Well, so, listen in class. Yeah, so it's it's like like a fibula. Fib fibrillar. Fibrillar pattern, yeah. Um, and then we have our here. small saphenous vein. Sumer saphenous vein. Or can you, can you put flow. the uh, color flow? So, yeah. There it is. That has to be, buddy. Why it does fire? I don't know if it's because I'm so bradycardic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that baseline, if I just don't have No, no, no. Why the blood is not. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, finally. 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 I think maybe the color flow is a little less in my venous system because. I don't know. I'm going to feed her today. Oh, there we yeah. go. Right? So underneath or next to, to it, yeah. then you get rid of that. So let's. Uh, let me just here. freeze. Freeze here. Mm -hmm. This is very beautiful picture. Who's this? Dr. Gerard. Gerard. Okay. So if you guys look at it, closer here, major. I'm not measuring, but I took for me to show. This is a small saphenous vein. Looks like big to me. Mm -hmm. Vein, because we saw the evidence there was blue color going back and forth. At this time, blue it doesn't mean anything but the flow. So 
away from us, right? And then this is the, then I'm gonna clear, then I'm gonna move to this one to here. This is the two liner, okay? You can see the honeycomb shape. This is the two liner, okay. got it? And then clear, then this is the peroneus mm -hmm. brevis, this is the Achilles tendon. Why is it so bright right here? Is that part Must of be like a, uh, more like membrane, the vessels. Okay. We can go around, but look at this, all the yeah. bright colors around. If there's not like a lot of water, it's not there then. Yeah. It's going to be more whitish, right? Okay. So let's take a look why if that's going to be clean. Yeah, not, not uh, white that much actually. All right, so we're going up, you see, but it's been more clear here, right? Mm -hmm. To run nerve, and yeah. then I'm going to go. Now it's going into the, see now it's climbing up, climbing up to the adipose tissues here. Going up and down, I'm showing you guys for free. Going up, 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 up. 14 centimeter over here, almost, right? Over here, see, do you see? Where is it, Debbie? All the way to the right side, that, that one, yeah. So you put it here, and then you put your probe, and then you do nerve conduction study to find out the sensory action potential. And then I'm gonna go up, 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 up. Now it's going deeper. Is it di going deeper? Maybe over there, the white. No, no, this. no, no. Left. Left to the left. Mm -hmm. My baby has a little vision problem. It's the same problem now. This is the nerve. This one. Huh. See? Now it's clear. Kind now of. it's clear. <laughs> kind of. Oh, see, yeah. it look wrong. Yeah. Do you remember you had the vision last time? You had the same problem. <laughs> I, I trust you, Dr. But Dan. sorry, she has a boyfriend, so there's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. Okay. See? Yeah. Now it's clear, right? It's in the adipose tissues, right? And then if I go up more, whoops, see this, see? Now it's on the top of the gastro. Here, you remember, uh, if you guys reviewed the previous one, between the media gastro, lateral gastro has, when they meet, that's the place the pseudo nervous system over there. For now, it's very hard because we are using the well, hockey yeah. stick, but this is the almost uh, in the middle, facial line, I see it. So, see? The underneath is the media, the right top is the lateral gastro. Okay. So it's going to be in the middle here. We just had it. See over there, it's moving. Do you see? Inside of the uh, fat. Oh, sorry. Right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? So it's really going down again. Do you see? It's moving. So this, do you see? Can you stop here? Mm -hmm. No, they're free. So if you look at it, this is uh, not deep, but I'm going to show you cursor. Mm. This is the media gastro. This is the lateral gastro. This is the spinal nerve. Here, we, last time we found that in be when we meet the uh, two heads, and then on the top of the two heads, sura nerve starts split in media and lateral. Yeah. So, so we should see two dots. Yeah. It was very hard the last time. Well, let's see. And so medially is the tibial contribution and laterally is the contibular. Here. So we're going to go down. Sura so never sitting here. But that one, yeah? No, finally you get to see that one. <laughs> looks like a two now already. One, two. Yeah, it looks like a two. So it's here big one, one right? Yep. And then it becomes flatter and they become split. See? Two. So it's almost like a in the middle. Almost. Right. Not the middle yet, but almost middle. 
and then let's go. Then, but we couldn't follow last time. Which one is medial? Which one is lateral? If you see, can you phrase here? Mm -hmm. I was uh, uh, telling a lie, but I saw splitting. Uh, this is one. This is one, and this is second. One. They are splitting here. So if we unfreeze, so you see the dark area. Mm -hmm. Now you may know what. We're, yeah. Now you know exactly where we're talking about. If I go down that area, follow. Look at that area. You it's see. Someone. Now you can see sura nerve over there. Ob obo. Obo. Yeah. That one. Oh my! Now you know. So look, so now I'm going to go up. I'm going to go down. When I go down, it's very clear, right? Sura nerve. Yeah. And then if I approximately move my pro, see now it's become flatter. Yeah. And splitting two. See? Two. One, two. One, two. Oh my God. Deb, you and I consensus. <laughs> One and two, right? One yeah. and two. It is then hard. it's very hard. It was very hard for us to track down. It's splitting now. We, we didn't know which one we're going to follow. It become very small. See, still we see one. I only see one now here in the middle. No, above. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh oh. -uh. Underneath. Here. So the funny thing is, is because you, you have to go up and down. Move the cursor, right? See, the nerve is there. See, yes, that one there. goes down over there. See, yeah. Going down. So the funny thing is now when I do the uh, injections, if I have to go to the middle of, to look for the F uh, flexor hallucis longus, or if I have to uh, cover. Whatever reason I have to go to the middle part of the calf, I try to not to go to the middle, not to touch the sura nerve. That makes sense. Once I studied the uh, ultrasound, the, my way to injection is changing a little bit, mm -hmm. because not to cause a problem. So if you still sura nerve sits over there, see two, I see, on the, in the middle. Here, two. Above. One, two, yeah. Dr. Kim, don't tell a lie, but we, if we, I follow, scroll down, see, they become yeah. sooner nerve. It's very clear now, see? Yeah. I'm going down. When you, if you are able to find the sooner nerve very well, that means you're in the distal part. Yeah. <laughs> before they split. So, if you look at my, uh, David's leg, I mean, one third from the ankle to the knee, I came up approximately one third, right? And then you can see sura nerve in the uh, adipose tissues over there. Yeah, over there. And if I go up, over here, yeah? If I go up, it's going more close to the muscle. Now it's become flatter yeah. and splitting in two. Now it's clearly two, right? One, two. One, two. Look at the where the uh, facial line between the medial head, lateral head of the gastro. That's it, right? So it's exactly where we are, which is almost two-fifths from yeah. the ankle to the proximal, right? Or close to the middle. Yeah. So now I'm going to go... Ch it's very hard to follow too. Let's go follow that one. Right here. That must be the medial cutaneous uh, Yeah. Sort of This one has to go to the tibial nerve. You're going to have a headache this one. <laughs> Here. Wait, let me just go and see. Here, so now we, we are here. This one. It's moving, right? Do you see that's moving? It has to merge it to a tibial nerve. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh, and David's like, what? That became a liar. No, I know the answer. But there. I 
almost in the middle. Look, look. The yeah. tibia goes like this, right? Mm -hmm. Here. Amazing, you're following it, Chili. You see the RTD? Here, here. This one. Oh, and see your nerve. Complete your RTD. Yeah. And then there is a, what she's and trying to say is the posterior tibia RTD and fibula RTD is merging. See? That yeah. makes it easier. Yeah. Oh my to, god! Uh, so we can find that. Oh my god, look at the good nerve one. Nerve meaning the tibial nerve is superficial yeah. to that. So look, you guys see two arteries, right? On the left side of the screen is the posterior tibia artery. And the right side is the fibula artery, you remember? And then if we go proximally, they're going to merge, right? Become popliteal artery. So just between that, Closer. This is the what? That should be medial subcutaneous nerve, and then it's gonna be tibial nerve. See now, only one artery. Do you see? You remember this one? Only one artery we see. Yep. And then tibial nerve sits over there. Yeah. Okay. God bless us this morning. I wonder if we can oh find the same going the fibula. Because the nerve should be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lateral one. Yeah. I'm be fun. Let's try. Woo! <laughs> That's so cool. Sorry, we're going to have some uh, hot chocolate. This yeah. Morning. yeah, for sure. We're doing some stuff. Oh, my God, for the first time you were able to follow. I wish we recorded it. But you would have recorded it here. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> but for the blood vessels, I feel like the blood vessels so might help us find. the. Let, maybe since the David say so, let's find out. Oh, my neck hurts. Okay, we're gonna go middle again. So here, we have to look for the artery. Now it's merging here. No, 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 don't forget. Okay. Here, look at this. Yep, I see. Two arteries, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, can you use this cluster mm -hmm. so they can see it? That's the uh, TBR, posterior TBR artery, that's the fibular artery. If I go up, they merge, become popliteal artery. Next to popliteal artery, you guys see TBR nerve. Oh, yeah, it's a heart. Mm, here, here. The TBR nerve is over there. Oh my god, you are so good. I need <laughs> the blood vessels. I need, I need the blood vessels. <laughs> okay, now you guys can see TB. So here, Oh, this is going into the gastro, the tibial nerve going into gastro, this one. Oh, this. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? From the tibial, tibial nerve is here on the top of the blood vessel, mm -hmm. above, right? And then look at that. It's splitting, uh, branching out to the medial gastro, oh, lateral, that's the medial gastro. Yeah, yeah. medial gastro. Look at this. Oh, The nerve cool. is running. Woohoo! Wow, that's cool. We are uh, earning so much this morning. Right still tibial nerve, where is the tibial nerve, Debbie? The white. The tibial nerve. Yeah, that's the tibial nerve. But if we, they're branching out, see? Yeah. Going inside of the tibial nerve, see, look, look, look. As I go up, look at the gastro branches. Right oh, look at that. I'm moving up, see, it's going there, so it's disappearing. So it's move, all become tibial nerve. I'm going to wow. her calf area, the, above the, this uh, yeah. the, how do we say? Oh, this are part, sciatic nerve. Going into the sciatic nerve. Let's find out where the sci her sciatic nerve must be here. Here, sciatic nerve. And then splitting into two. Oh, so hard. Splitting in two now. One become fibular nerve. If I go, I missed that one. And here. Oh, that's the fibular nerve, comparative nerve. Above the above the fibula, comparative nerve, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna go into superficial, superficial, and then it's gonna pass the tibia fibula for um, the hole, right? Yeah. And go not tibia fibula fistula. I forgot the name. The hole, the interosseous membrane between the tibia fibula, and then it's going into that hole, 
and it's gonna, uh, I'm sorry, not yet, and then it become, one become deep peroneal, one become superficial peroneal. My, David has to use my lab, but just a little bit later, okay. So here, still you see common peroneal nerve here. No, 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 right side, that one, yeah, that one. Okay. And then I'm moving, it's moving, right? It's moving. There it is. Yeah. I'm going into peroneal muscles. Well, there was a, um, from here on the top of the uh, bone. Yep, the white uh, honeycomb that goes up. And then I come back. To, I'm going around with the fibula head. From oh, here, here. There's our deep. This is here the large one. Okay. The nerve, see? Nerve is running between the EDL, EDL and peroneal muscle. Here. You see? Yeah. Do you see? Oh, look at that. Do you see? Up here. No, that one. Oh, that one, yeah. So this one is the common peroneal nerve coming through. EDL. Now, ED anteriorly, look at that, anteriorly coming. See? Oh, here, 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 on the right side, right. Yeah, that one is gonna move, you see? Moving. They're moving, coming to the front part. Oh, neat. Do you see? Yeah. That one, I put it in the middle. So that's the moving. Now, as I digitally move, that's gonna start to this one, this one. You, you guys are gonna say, Dr. Kim, where is it? There it is. See, it's here. Oh, so big. Look at that, this whole thing. Can Whoa. you free it? Yeah. Look, um, look at that. This is the common peroneal nerve is going to the whole Right? This is above the fibula head, and it's gonna come like this. That's the deep peroneal nerve. Mm -hmm. And then inside of the, oh, oh, this one, <laughs> we cannot leave that. So this one, if it stays in the above the fibula, between the peroneus longus brevis, that is the superficial peroneal nerve. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. So this one is gonna come down through the, between the two holes, fibula, Tibia, there's interstitial membrane, there's a hole, I forgot that, tibial fibula, fist, fistula, something like that. It goes through that one and it comes to in between the EDL and um, anterior tibialis, it's going to be here. Yeah, and so it's the proximal to the uh -huh. interosseous membrane, mm -hmm. that's how it gets there. Okay. So let's take a look, clear, on how it moves. Wow, that's really beautiful. Okay, so let's uh, unfreeze. Oh, your foot is going to be so cold. That's oh, okay. Let's from here. Oh, here, the nerve is coming here, right? So mm -hmm. It's going to come up to up to the bone, right? So moving now. You guys can see moving? Have you see it? I see it. Mm, can you show? Yeah. We have these. Yeah. And then I'm going to move. It's moving up to the bone. Fibula head. Fibula head. There's a beautiful big nerve. No, that's already going into the anterior part, yeah, it's going deeper, but it should be going um, here, but we cannot find the same nerve. Maybe I have to come back from here. Oh, here, here. yeah. Here, so over the superficial, I think it looks like it's dividing superficial and deep, right? That makes sense, so because looks this is burning longest. Mm -hmm. Looks too, because it's mm -hmm. just below the fibula head. Mm -hmm. 
Do you guys see it? Just below the fibula, above the, sorry, above the fibula head. One honeycomb two. shape, but looks like a two branches. Yeah. See one, oh, you're splitting here, one. Two. Two, oh good, one, one, that's three. And then you can explain what is one and two. Okay. Tell us what so, is one. So we have, here's the fibular head, here's the perineus longus. And so we're starting to see the the um, common perineal nerve split into the deep and superficial <coughs> nerves. And the one that's closest to the perineus longus is right. going to be superficial. Right. If you guys see her leg, because her foot is so cold, this is the, uh, above the fibula, just underneath of the fibula head. The neck. So, and then you see the clear of kind of like a two nerve, sura nerve, very similar with the sura nerve, looking but simpler. Sura nerve has a lot of a dot. This one has two dots. Let's take a look again. What? Oh, and three. And here. Rice is coming from, now it's moving to the front part. Splitting and then look at this. See, yep. It's moving. And then we have to go, see? Yeah. It's moving. Yep. There. It's one, only one is falling down. Yeah, that's the Yeah, deep. falling down. It's going deep. That's why you don't see it. And then I have to move my, here. I came to a little front to show. Look at the anterior tibia artery coming here. So the nerve always move with the artery, right? So look at my probe, it's in the, for moving into the front part of the leg. See here, mm -hmm. do you see it? It's moving, the front, the nerve, see? Oh, here. This one, look, oh. pay attention. See, moving, coming down. I see it, do you see down. it, coming yep. down? Yep, yep. Coming down, so we have to make it a little deeper. Mm. Still, I am there. Going towards the interosseous yeah. membrane, which we here. This one, this one. Yep. So now moving. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. Moving. I see it. Coming down to going into the interosseous membrane area. Now we are there finding is. anterior tibia. So yeah. Yeah. let's put the color. Oh. Okay. Put over there in the corner. There That's is. the anterior tibia artery. The nerve is right next to it. Nerve is the hage part of the nerve. Right here. So this artery, anterior tibia artery, is not just next to the fibula. As you move, you scan down, the anterior tibia artery is moving into the medial side. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make it deeper. So now, uh, It's moving. Now it's very clearly you have an interosseous membrane just above the interosseous membrane between the tibia and fibula, but not still. Next to fibula, you can see anterior tibia. There's nerve. White yep. stuff. Very okay. clear, right? Yep. Can you put the color flow one more mm -hmm. time for the. Uh, I don't know who is watching, but we are watching. There's the anterior tibia artery. <laughs> and then Debbie and I are having fun. We are. And then. Uh, this is the anterior tibia uh, nerve. A uh, deep perineal nerve. Deep oh, deep I made a new name, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It right? Makes, yes. well, I don't know why they made the name so difficult. But no, oh, they. It's based upon awesome. the nerve, but yeah. we are based upon the artery. Yeah. So this is the anterior tibia artery. This hazy part is the deep perineal nerve. And deep perineal nerve is here. Uh, between the anterior tibialis and um, EDL, but as you go down, EDL, in between the EDL, or underneath the EDL and anterior tibialis. Uh, so, Surimax is, is going to come down as we're going to get rid of a color flow. So, here very clearly you see. Oh my god, even clearer here. See? Yeah. Okay. So, look at that. The white stuff, you, as we go down, hmm, what do we have to change? Yeah. Change, then it's going to be hard to show. But, um, still I can. 
Like, I'm doing untable back pain on my No, no, I already know your back pain. I just have to do this for me. Actually, maybe I have a back pain, not her. No, I don't have back pain today. No, here, the white. In and out, white one in the middle. That one. That's the nerve. This is the artery. Why this is the artery? That's the artery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, actually, for here, we have to use the. Mm hmm. Um, now you guys can see very well. Oh, it's yeah, clear, it right? Mm -hmm. Here's the artery. Yep. And there was a superficial nerve. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it, right? So now we're going to go more front. So look at the anterior tibial artery is moving. Yeah, that one. Then by that time you come down to about this one third, it's going to be in between the uh, EDL and anterior tibialis. EHL, I'm sorry, EHL and EDL. So still over there, right? It's still over here. And it's going to be switched to uh, medial to the, I think medial to the EHL. By the time lateral. you go to the ankle. Yeah, lateral up the level of the ankle. Mm -hmm. yes. Look at this. Well, there it is. There it is. And the nerve is next to it. Right yep. there. Wow. Oh, so we can find. We should show them where they do the EDB. Oh, my neck hurts. Oh, sorry. What is the EDB? What? The, the conduction for the extensor digital and brevis. Mm -hmm. If we just keep following the superficial. Artery. Or the, um, the deep perineal nerve. Deep perineal nerve. Nerve. See? The nerve is over there. That one. Right yeah. here. And then here's the artery. Yep. So, so here, we are ankle. The ankle. We just follow this. Since one. we did the sural conduction. Oh, actually, okay. now switched. You remember? Yeah. They flip over. Nerve yes, is normal. here. Nerve is here. Oh, mm. look at that. Yeah, it is. That's the artery. And nerve is here. See, it flipped yep. over. Yep. Used to be this side. Now at the ankle, it came to the Meet. medial side. So uh, read, uh, listen to my PowerPoint and lecture. The EHL. If we are wrong, it's your fault. Okay, EHL. And we're going to put the... What is the nerve again? We are so excited. Excited. <laughs> so that's the nerve, right? And let's come from here. We're kind of lost. Well, there's the artery. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's nerve and artery. artery. Nerve and artery. So now, Prince, it, it was EHL. So now she's going to move over her EHL. See? That's the EHL. So we can do EHL, but we don't need to do here because that's not the motor point area. But for the nerve conduction study today here, for for deep perineal nerve conduction. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, eight centimeters in your mm -hmm. cord. Yeah. So we go eight and fourteen today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a uh, above the coxer. That's the deep per deep perineal nerve, and those are these pads over there. Yeah. We should do. Can you uh, freeze? Or let's make it a little bigger and freeze. Okay. And then can you guys see where is my probe? Maybe. Can you see it? Hopefully you see it. Okay. Or I'm going to twist her leg. <laughs> so, okay. This is the, we got everything today. Yeah. Uh, oh, plantar nerve is the one, but I don't know. So there are 43, uh, so you want to practice on my leg? Yeah. I think it's the one, I yeah. I just practice on my leg. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true too. Uh, next week, let's do plantar nerve. Oh, you know what we didn't do? <laughs> we should do that real quick. We didn't oh. do the medial... Um, plantar nerve. So the tarsal tunnel. But do the next week, you practice. Okay. Yeah. That, that takes a lot of time too. True. Mm -hmm. It's easier because for me to find on... Myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the you, hard you can't show up. Time. That's why you have to practice this one. Don't, no, no, but the don't go with the easy one. That's true. That's true. Did you see? She wants to do the easy one today. It's just hard. I was practicing with a butterfly, and it's hard to find the sural nerve. Oops, yeah. unfreeze. But because the sural nerve, if you don't track down, it's hard. Yeah. You have to start from the beginning. I'll do it. Yeah, do it. We do. I'll be your assistant. Thanks.
So we have to use the elevator technique and get Yeah, that's right. Because a lot of gel here, still, we may need a little more. Okay. Uh, change the probe. So go up a little more. So I see it already. Yeah. So you can I see, see the panic. Already. So as I go this way, you can see that fibrillar pattern again, starting for the Achilles I, tendon. I still hear the fibrillar, <laughs> fibrillar. <laughs> <laughs> and as we come, whoops, this way, <coughs> go up a little see bit. The yeah. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, you have to Not go great, a little up. There it is. Okay. So yeah, there, now there you is our both. tendon. Do you toggle a little bit? Yeah. But that, okay. looks, that looks pretty good for yeah. tendon. fibularis longus tendon. And then there's still muscle mm -hmm. for fibularis brevis, lateral malleolus. And then... Lateral malleolus is that one. So what's this? Oh, this must be... On the knees, the, the other... This is the lateral is malleolus. It's is going it continuously. Okay. Yeah, shadow of the tibia because it's a, the other side. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah, lateral malleolus. Mm -hmm is to the left of the screen and then this bony shadow is actually already the tibia great okay and then small saphenous also peroneus <laughs> brevis and then you tell me where the nerve i see it over here above, above. so small saphenous vein still oh uh, yeah but we did this position it's this one you see honeyco yeah yeah well, but I'm helping her now. She's the one. See? So here's yep. This, yep. So here's the honeycomb shape of the <coughs> sural nerve at the level of the lateral malleolus, It's just a little proximal. Uh -huh. And then to the left of it is our small saphenous vein. So if you look, the reason why we are struggling because it's slippery, but yeah. it's about like a two, three finger breaths. Two finger breaths up from the lateral malleolus. Two finger breaths, right? Right. And then you hold it. You. And so that's about. Where is the level of the nerve block? So when we were the nerve block a little. I think this is the place yeah. the nerve block, not the not where we not the immediate electric. angle. No, they go up a little bit. And so it would be cool too for thinking. See, look at that. How easily we can yeah, identify it here. Yeah, super so, easy. So, which is about two finger breaths. Yeah. And another <coughs> cool thing, um, if we're thinking about EMG, I do not have an accessory perineal nerve. I never seen it. Mm -mm. Well, it's, it's, I feel like we have a lot in the adult population. Well, I have to apologize to you guys. I'm not the adult. <coughs> I'm a pediatric pediatrist, but I it's been a while, them. long, long time ago. I did it EMG, but not recently. But this is very clear. So this must be here, two finger breaths up to the sutra nerve block. And then you uh, scan up. <coughs> I end up doing it, so I don't Here, okay, so we see yeah. it very nice. I'll follow. I'll follow. Here, if you go up, oh, it's <laughs> very slippery, right? Really slippery. <laughs> okay, so we see it nicely there. Here. And it's going more superficially. It's going up. Are you uh, scanning up? Mm -hmm. So as she scan up, it now it's going into adipose, very close to here. Uh, 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 show us. I'm going back down. So yes. now it's a, she passed the 14 centimeter, which is in the, right. this one? Can you scan up and down? Here. Okay, go up continuously to the middle. Oh. There. Now they're meeting? Yeah. 
you can see the gas rack starting to pop out too. Mm -hmm. So here, this one. Now I'm going to go down. There's so here. Down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming up. Two splitting to one, two. One, two, very clearly, I saw it. Just try to bring it in the middle of the screen. Mm. So now her leg is in, uh, the probe is in the middle. And you can see the different, the two heads of the gas and everything. This is the head of the in-between. So it must be this one now. Because yeah. here you scanned up. Yeah. I missed the part. So, and scan down a little bit so we can see together. So here, and scan up. Here, it's going to split. Mm. Oh, here? Yeah. Oh, so, what's it? I think there's now, so now split. Here, up and down, up and down. There, there, there. It's getting a little stuff on the cord. But if we don't scan the follow the nerve, it's very hard to, it, to know. Do you think this is the nerve if you just put the no, probe over there? I think the sternal nerve is the hardest Now it's splitting. I think you're going down because so mm -hmm. previously already it was a split data, so now yep. you scan down, I can see more. A little more fast, so, so now here. Now you guys saw it, right? And then yeah. move up. As you scan, you know, you know direction, right? Mm -hmm. Because oh, over there now you found the your place. It's this one. So between the two heads. Mm -hmm. So let's, this is a very good pick, say this. I'm gonna, so I'm going to say the reason why I want to say this one. Oh, comment. This is a... This is a solar. You see it, right? Yeah. And then it looks like it's going to split here. Looks like it's splitting here. Yeah. And this is the um, yeah. uh, comment. Uh, media gastro. This is a lateral gastro. This is solid. Yay! That's this cool. is fat. We are not <laughs> <laughs> we are not documenting that one. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fat. Wow, we don't want to say anything. <laughs> just, that's you that's can just why I'm the image. <laughs> no, that's why I'm not showing mine. <laughs> Dave is gonna fire me, but you know no. what guys, wait for me to get it's all good. Alright. Okay. Awesome. Woo -hoo. Very fun. So uh, we have seven minutes left, but today was I think we had we know Sura nerve much better than before, and then hopefully I can make video tonight. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> only Sura nerve. So and Dev and I may work on this one next week. Let's uh, do the tarsal tunnel and then tarsal nerve with the plantar nerves. I think plantar nerve is very important to, for pediatric physiatrists to, to not only adult sports medicine, but you know, my, I, I think I talked about this one last uh, uh, practice. I said my patient has a lot of spasticity or low tone. They all have foot deformities, uh, equinovarus, plantar valgus, 
echinovalgus. Those all the abnormal foot positioning causes the plantar fasciitis or foot yeah. pain. A lot of uh, uh, adults with cerebral palsy come for the foot pain, therefore their function gets deteriorated. And in the past, I did not link with their uh, plantar fasciitis or plantar nerve compression um, because I did not know. But now I may even think about uh, referring them to sports medicine doctors for the possible injection, yeah. right? Or we do that since we know the nerve. Yeah. But anyway, so I think uh, learning ultrasound gives us a better idea how we can treat patients or how we can assist the patient well, right? Definitely. So please join us um, for the practice. What do we say? Subscribe. Yes. And push the button. And like, <laughs> subscribe, like, share. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but have a wonderful Monday. See you next week. Bye-bye.